How did life on Earth begin? There are various theories as to the origins of life, but what we can say for sure is that life on Earth has continued uninterrupted for the past four billion years, resulting in the existence of not only human beings, but a multitude of living things. What exactly is life? Everyone has no doubt pondered the mystery of life at some point. Today, we will be discussing the topic of life and good health with Dr. Koji Usumi, President of Life Science Institute. Dr. Usumi, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. We have received a lot of questions from people interested in learning more about the relationship between life and good health. Most common was the fundamental question, what is life? It is extremely difficult to give a definitive answer to this question. However, modern biology generally defines life as the cellular metabolic process. Let's think about what this means in the case of a human being. As I'm sure you are aware, the human body is made up of cells. Around 60 trillion cells to be precise. Cells are capable of replication and division. Because most cells only have a short lifespan, it is important that they can divide and create replacement cells. This phenomenon, known as the cellular metabolic process, occurs constantly within the human body. It is this metabolic process that modern biology defines as life. It's fascinating to learn about the cell's role as a fundamental element of life. The next question also relates closely to this topic. It's said that our genes are responsible for conveying traits such as physical appearance and personality from generation to generation. How does this process actually work? This is one of the great mysteries of life. We have always known that children inherit many of their parents' traits. In recent decades, researchers in the life sciences field have taken great strides toward figuring out why this is. They have discovered that the key lies in the genes we inherit from our parents. Genes exist in the nucleus of every cell in our body. Essentially, genes are the blueprint for making the proteins required to build the human body and sustain life. Each person's genetic blueprint consists of the genes passed on to them from their parents. Where exactly in the nucleus of a cell is this genetic information stored? Genetic information is stored in a type of nucleic acid known as DNA. I'm sure most people are familiar with this term. We've also received many questions from people wanting to know more about DNA and nucleic acid. Nucleic acid refers to DNA, which exists in the nucleus of a cell and RNA, which exists both in the nucleus and the cytoplasm of a cell. These two types of nucleic acid are considered to be the fundamental building blocks of life. What is the main role of DNA and RNA? If we think of DNA as a building blueprint, RNA performs the role of a carpenter. DNA, or deoxyribonucleic acid, consists of two long strands of nucleotides, of which there are four different kinds, linked together in a double helix formation. It's the sequence of these four kinds of nucleotides that creates our genetic information, the instructions for human life. RNA, or ribonucleic acid, creates the proteins each cell requires according to the genetic instructions stored in DNA. Think about how we listen to music stored on a CD. To create a music CD, the elements of music, rhythm, melody, and harmony, are converted into digital form and encoded onto a CD. 
When this CD is read by a CD player, we are able to enjoy the music that has been encoded onto it. In the case of human life, the instructions for making the proteins that the body requires are encoded into our DNA. These instructions are then read by RNA, which facilitates the synthesis of the proteins required to sustain life. It seems nucleic acid is vital to the sustainment of human life. Earlier, we defined life as the cellular metabolic process. Specifically, this relates to the process of cell replication and division. DNA stores the instructions for cell replication and division, and RNA is involved in carrying out these instructions. Of course, when a cell divides, an exact copy of the cell's DNA is passed onto the new cell so that it can also replicate and divide. In other words, nucleic acid plays a vital role in the cellular metabolic process. The next question is from someone wanting to know whether there is a relationship between genes and illness. In recent years, it has been discovered that genes are a major factor in the occurrence of many serious illnesses. Researchers have also discovered that reactive oxygen species, which are created in large volumes due to factors such as cigarette smoke, UV rays, exhaust fumes, stress, and an unbalanced diet, are a major cause of gene damage. When genes are damaged, they may cease to function normally. This can lead to a range of health issues. Therefore, if we can prevent damage to our genes, we may be able to protect ourselves from various diseases and even stall the aging process. For this reason, the human body is equipped with a self-defense system that has the ability to build immunity to illness and repair damaged genes. Dr. Usumi, please tell us more about this self-defense system. The human body has the ability to eliminate bacteria that cause disease and kill off virus-infected cells and abnormal cells such as cancer cells. It also has the ability to keep blood pressure and blood sugar levels stable and repair damaged DNA. These various functions within the body that work to maintain internal equilibrium, or homeostasis, are referred to as the body's self-defense system. Self-defense systems vary from person to person, with some people having strong systems and others weak systems. In order to improve the effectiveness of our self-defense system, it is important to consume a diet that supports optimal self-defense system function. Next, a question about the food we eat. This person asks, I've heard that we eat food to obtain the nutrients required to sustain life. What exactly are nutrients? The word nutrients generally refers to the six major nutrients necessary for sustaining human life. Proteins, fats, carbohydrates, vitamins, minerals, and dietary fiber. In recent years, researchers have become aware of a possible seventh major nutrient, nucleic acid. The findings of recent clinical studies conducted using DNA and RNA supplements indicate that nucleic acid plays a crucial role in gene expression. Please explain what gene expression means. Gene expression is closely related to the maintenance of homeostasis. For example, when blood pressure needs to be raised, the genes that raise blood pressure are switched on, and the genes that lower blood pressure are switched off. This will signal production of the proteins required to raise the body's blood pressure. This process is known as gene expression. It is important to support the body's ability to maintain homeostasis so that gene expression occurs normally. Ensuring your diet contains enough nucleic acid will help your body to maintain homeostasis. This may make it possible to prevent illness and suppress the causes of aging. 
The last question relates to the best way to get the required amount of nucleic acid every day. Well, as a matter of fact, the body has two ways of getting the components that cells require to synthesize nucleic acid. The first way is through de novo synthesis, which occurs mainly in the liver. The second is through the salvage pathway, which salvages nucleic acid components from the food we eat. Researchers from all over the world have been studying nucleic acid for decades. The findings of this research show that the amount of nucleic acid produced by the body declines as we age. This makes it necessary to supplement the body's nucleic acid supply via the salvage pathway. Foods such as marine products, legumes, and mushrooms are all rich in nucleic acid. These foods are often used in Japanese cuisine. Naturally, there are certain foods that are considered a particularly good source of nucleic acid. Salmon milk, for example, is considered a very good source of DNA. Also, Terula yeast cultivated using sugarcane is considered a great source of RNA. Nucleic acid supplementation offers many potential health benefits and is a key component of maintaining good health. By consuming more DNA and RNA, we can boost the body's natural healing power and live a healthy life. Dr. Usumi, thank you for explaining all about the importance of nucleic acid.